Welcome back to Spinning the Past. Today I'm going to discuss Bradford Count. I'm going to be having other videos very soon where I'm going to be talking about the grist or the diameter of yarns, the weight of the yarn uh, that is found in historical sources. But if you don't understand when they talk about 32S or 64S, you want to understand what their issues are and, and how to visualize that. So I want to go over today a bit about Bradford Count. Bradford Count was a system of, of basically kind of a yards or skeins per pound that everyone kind of agreed on. And um, so they would be able to shorthand discuss the exact uh, grist, diameter, yardage, weight, skeins, this whole notion of what this particular fiber or this thread, this yarn would be. So, in short, Bradford count is how many skeins, or how many hanks, is what they call them, can be spun from one pound of fiber. So, today I'm going to talk about cotton yarn specifically, because my uh, video coming up is about cotton spinning uh, in the 19th century, um, and some, some problems that the manufacturers, i.e. the weavers, cotton weavers, had with the cotton thread or the yarn that, that was being shipped to them. And if you don't understand why they were upset about that, why that was important to them, maybe this video will help you understand why. So we need some calculations to determine the hanks. So this is yards of the yarn, and I'm, I'm using imperial because in the 19th century, especially English sources, would have still used imperial at that time. So yards of yarn over the weight of the yarn in ounces, times 16 ounces, times the number of plies, and an R will be most likely two because two is the most common ply for weaving. All that, all that will equal hanks. Now we have to divide this section of it here, divided by 840. This is the yard skeins per pound of cotton. This is a constant number. Constant for cotton and for silk, but today we're focusing on cotton. If we were talking about wool, this would be different. If it's a woolen spun or worsted spun, that would be a different number here. So this Bradford count works for all sorts of fibers. But for today, we're, we're going to use this number. So if you read in the historical source, 32S, how much yardage of a two-ply cotton would that be? Solve for X. Now, you have to Remember algebra way back when, because we need to solve for x. So how do we solve for x? So we have, using this formula up here, because we're trying to figure out what the yards are, x over 16 times 16 times 2 equals 32, and this, is, this part is divided by 840. So what would that be? So we've got here, I, I've shortened it for you, 2x divided by 840 equals 32, x equals 32 times 840 divided by 2, so x yardage is 13,400 yards in a 32s hank of 2-ply cotton yarn. This is how many yards, when they said 32s, this is what they expected the yardage to be in that hank of, of 32s. That is the yardage that they wanted. But as uh, in another video, you'll find out that some spinners were submitting a 31s. Well, 31, 32, what's the difference? So solving for x here in a 31s, we get 13,020 yards. So that is... Um, that is not the same as 13,400. So if someone's expecting 13,400 and they're only getting 13,020, that's um, 380 yards short that they were expecting. And if you do that over multiple hanks that you would buy, let's say you bought 100 hanks, that would be a, a lot of uh, shortage. So if you spun a 30S to ply cotton yard, how much yardage would that be? Again, doing the calculations here, I get 12,600 yards in a 30S hank of two-ply cotton yarn. So 
13,400 minus 12,600. That is a difference of 800 yards or a 6% shortage of yarn. Weavers out there would know that that makes a huge difference. If you're being short shifted 800 yards, that is a lot of warp that you're not, that you think you're paying for, but you're not getting. So Bradford count matters. That's the, the end of this. Even though you may think, well, 32 and, and 30 are, are so close in numbers, but really that's, that's a lot of yardage to be short. And today, like I said, I just wanted to go over briefly some of, some of this Bradford count because I want to do some subsequent videos very soon. And in the 19th century, 18th century, all the, the measurements that they talk about are in Bradford count or count. So to understand how Bradford count is calculated, why it's important to be accurate, I wanted to do this video today so that you would understand why, why count matters, why accuracy in spinning matters.